So we're going to take our brush and we're going to grab these greens and purples and yellows and blues. So got that yes, yellowy green color here. Just going to kind of wash it in around here. I'm grabbing some water too. Can you hear that? So see how wet that is? I'll add a little yellow. But we also want to add some purples. So I'm see I'm spacing this out a little bit. Kind of spacing it over here. A little bit here, a little bit there. Just kind of dabbing with my brush. Some of the greens. I'm not putting them everywhere. See that? Just kind of tapping the brush. Ta ta ta. I can grab some of that Prussian blue. Put it right in here. See? It's wet on wet. Grab some water. The Prussian blue. Okay, I'll clean up my brush. I can start adding some purple. They might bleed into the other colors, but. You get the idea. If it seems too wet, just dap it on the paper towel like I see here. And then just kind of push it around. Da -na -na. There's a there's a there's a reason for my madness here. And it can get pinker the purple or a bluer. I'm adding some more ultramarine back in here. But this is just simple. We're just kind of like Wet on wet, tapping the color. You can just actually take the ultramarine and just kind of tap it in here too, see? Already we get this really cool kind of impressionistic look. Like I said, there's a, there's a method to my madness. Just tapping in this blue. Go in magenta, grab some of that. Look at that. Just tapping it in. This is still drying up here. Now you could tap it a little bit towards it and see what happens. Ooh, if it bleeds a little bit, that's fine. Because we're going to be having fun with that. See, so already it's starting to look like this flower field, right? Then you go back in with the yellow and the peacock blue. Make that pretty green. Again, if it's too wet, it's going to bleed a lot. So you might want to tap it on the paper towel and get some of that green in between these purple colors we put in here. Or even just some concentrated yellow. Now the yellow and the purple is going to make brown, so you want to be careful putting too much of that. The green would be better. Or even more of like blue. See, now I'm just kind of tapping that color. Grabbing some more yellow here in between the purple that we did. That's still kind of wet. And if it comes up here now, no problemo. See, just again, the little taps. Very impressionistic looking. You can really tap just yellow up in here because remember yellow and blue make green, so don't be afraid. And it's still drying, so up here. At this point we're going to have a little fun and then we'll add in some uh, real flowers. So I'm getting the ultramarine mixed in with the quinacridone magenta. I've got that purple. It's very lit, wet. And I'll take another brush and do a little splatter. I mean not a brush. A brush or a pen or whatever you want to use. Tapping close to the to the page here. See? We can do little ones, bigger ones. I'm going to do this first before we start painting flowers in. To me, it's already looking like a lot of fun. <laughs> can add a little more pink. Now you can make it more, you can add more just magenta, less purple. Just add magenta, see that? Water that magenta down. Tap some of that. 
Very pretty, right? Now the purple has kind of bled a lot. We're going to go back and fix that. That's why you leave some white spaces. Like I said, there's a method to my madness. Okay. At this point, I want you to just let it dry. And after you let it dry, we're going to come back and then start painting in some real balloons. So this craziness. Okay, so we'll let this dry, which is great. And we can leave some of these white spaces. And then we can go back in and add the greens and the yellows and then start painting the flowers. 